Hello and welcome to PCI TV. In this episode, we would like to show you quickly how it is that Geomatica can be used to subset and clip different parts of imagery. It's quite simple in Geomatica. We'll be using Focus in this example. We can also subset in other parts of our software. So what I'll do is I'll launch Focus. A very common situation is we have a data set which is larger than our study area. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Landsat 8 image of Montreal, which is quite a large area. I'm going to open it using the MTL metadata file. I'll be prompted for what it is that I want to open, so I'll click the multispectral for now. And as you can see, if I zoom out here, I have quite a large area. And maybe I'm only interested in the downtown portion of Montreal here. So what I'll do is I'll go under Tools, Clipping, Subsetting, and that's going to bring up my panel which is going to allow me to subset in many different ways. I'll just go through the most simple way. Uh, what I can do is I can essentially make a square or I can subset the reset the uh, clip area to the whole area to the overview. I can bisect and what this does is it makes a smaller and smaller area each time I click it. Or I could just click and drag it and make it the size that I want. If I want it to be rectangular or square, or basically any shape that I would like to use, I can put that in. If I have an irregular polygon, I can uh, select that from a clip layer. So if I had, a, uh, for example, the extents of the city of Montreal and I wanted to clip exactly to that area, I could bring that in and uh, use that as my clip layer. So once I've done that, I can select uh, the rasters, all of the raster channels. I'll just put this file on my local desktop for now, so I'll call this Landsat 8 Montreal. And I'll just go ahead and hit uh, Clip. So that just takes a few moments. It uh, clips out every single uh, channel that I selected. So I selected all the channels available for the multispectral bands. And what I'll do is I'll open the file again, and this time I'll select the uh, panchromatic channel. And you can see that I have the overview image once again. Now if I wanted to clip the panchromatic layer to the exact same extent as the multispectral, which I just clipped, very easy to do so. So I can go back under clipping, subsetting, select my uh, panchromatic band. And uh, rather than using the uh, interactive uh, uh, window selection tool here, what I'm going to do is uh, choose a file. And I'm going to browse to my file which is the Landsat 8 and you can see that it automatically uh, puts in a clip area which is the exact same uh, area of interest as the panchromatic or as the multispectral rather. I'm just going to call this pan and then I'll hit clip. So it's very very easy to do that as you can see. There are other options for clipping as I mentioned, uh, clip layer that's if you're using maybe an irregular polygon or if you have a, a tile scheme that you want to use. Uh, if you have a saved view within Focus, you can clip by a, a named region. Uh, that'll use the, the extents of your view. There's also ways of a subset script file where you can pass the uh, upper left and lower right and right to a file. Let's say you have multiple areas that you want to clip within the same area and you, want, you don't want to do this interactively. You want to script it out. You could definitely do that. Um, or if you want to use a current view, so maybe you uh, set your views exactly to the extent that you're interested in studying and you want to clip to this exact, uh, exact extent, you could do it that way as well. So hopefully that gives you a quick review of the uh, clipping and subsetting tool within Focus. Once again, um, it can be done within other tools as well. Modeler, uh, we can clip via Python. Uh, there's other ways that we can clip but uh, that gives you uh, the concept of uh, how it works within our software.